Fed just made the move to cut the interest rate, and this morning we're looking for ways you can save money. Don't yawn, because financial experts say now is the time to save big. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in West Bloomfield with more on this topic this morning. So, Matthew, what's the smart move to make right now? Well, you're looking to save money, right? So the experts say pick off the things that you owe the most money, your biggest debts, and work from the most expensive down to the least. I actually was talking with Joe Saul Sihai about this. He founded the podcast Breaking Benjamin, and he explained to me that this is the first time the Fed has done this in more than a decade. So we talked a little bit further about what we can do to save money. Most people get this wrong. They start off with the little things. And what we want to do is start off with things that make the biggest impact. So your home, at home expenses are going to be number one. We want to look at those first. Your auto is number two. Everything else is number three. Okay, so there's the game plan per Joe. So let's look at why and how to do it. Essentially, the Fed rate cut means interest rates will drop. That's important if you're still making big payments on your home. While the Fed rate doesn't directly drop your house payments, it affects the Treasury. So now is the time to pay attention and start looking into whether you can refinance and lower that payment. Now, if you've got a car note, that's the second check mark on Joe's list. That is directly affected by this move. Shopping around now can save you money. And the same goes for credit cards, too. Some card rates will drop on their own. But if you go out to find a new rate, keep an eye on terms and conditions, too. You don't want to end up getting a lower rate and end up paying more in fees up front that set you back anyways. But Joe has this advice when it comes to what you do as those payments start to drop. It'll be a lower payment. We don't want to worry about the payment. If you're used to paying X amount of money to your credit card, pay less money in interest and pay off that debt earlier. So Matthew, you know, a lot of people may worry about applying for a line of credit. Is there any advice? Is there too much of a good thing? All right, so I actually asked Joe the same thing because I was like, I don't want to apply for six, seven credit cards. He said you do your shopping around and you apply once to each of these things that shouldn't hurt you. He would still say the risk is worth it if you're looking at your house, your car, and one credit card. He actually gave me a trio of companies of websites that you can go to and compare a lot of these rates for both loans and credit cards. They're on your screen here. It's bankrate.com, Magnify Money, and NerdWallet. All are great spots to walk you through, again, both loans and credit cards. I'm putting more details online at WXYZ.com right after the show and we'll also link you back to Joe's uh, podcast Breaking Benjamins. He's breaking this stuff down. I know guys it sounds like a lot but he assures me that if you start to figure it out it's kind of like riding a bike. You take off and you'll enjoy because you're saving money. Who doesn't want to do that? Okay.